we will begin unit three with um, ta sikar kawe. Ta is you, sa means what, kar means work, kawe means you doing. What work are you doing? Or what do you what work do you do? Ta sikar kawe. It's a dialogue between Teresa and Assad. Salam. Salam. Assad responds. Teresa. The Ghilzaisa Milgiri. Whoa. Ze Asadium. Teresa. Zamanum Teresa da. My name is Teresa. Tuba the Ghilzaisa Noe Shagirdaye. Are you the new student of Ghilzaisa? Ta means you, ba. Of course, it's a particle which we'll review in the future. The Ghilzai Sahib, Sir Ghilzai's Nui means new, just like the English new, Nui, due to the Indo European origin of both Pashto and English. Of course, there are root word uh, similarities. New in, Pashto, in English is, is a cognate of Nui in Pashto. Shagirda, ye, you are. Just like the old English, ye, in thee, in thou, ye. Teresa, po nashwam. Po means un understand. Na means similar to English, no, na shwam. Po na shwam. I didn't understand. Po na shwam. Teresa responded. Asad, the Ghilzai sahib is the kawunke ye. Are you Ghilzai sahibs? Is the kawunke, which means Student, ye, yeah, you are. Teresa responds, Well, the Ghilzai Saib is the Kawun Kiyam. Yes, the Ghilzai Saib, I am Ghilzai Saib's student. I am. Yam is like am, 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 similar to English am. Well, the Ghilzai Saib is the Kawun Kiyam. Student, yam means am. Yam, similar to English, I'm sure there is Indo European. Uh, root here, yum, which means am. Raza kena, Asad tells Teresa. Teresa responds, Tashakur, Tasekar kawe. What do you do? Realize that the stress is at the end of the sentence. This is a question. Tasekar kawe. Statements and questions in Pashto are written exactly the same. However, the stress uh, of the word shifts in a question. It ends, the shift, the stresses at the end usually. A statement would be ta sikar kawe. The question would be ta sikar kawe. Zdakawun ke yum. I am a student. Student am. Am. Yum is am. Zdakawun ke means student. Yum. Teresa states, asks Asad a question. Sishe luwale. What are you studying? Sishe luwale. Asad responds, Kimya luwalam. Kimya means chemistry. Luwalam means studying. I am studying chemistry. Ta singa. Ta means you. Singa means how or what. Ta singa. How about you? Ta singa. How about you? Ta singa. Yawaze pakhto luwale. Only, you study only Pashto. Yawaze means only. Pashto means, of course, the language. Pashto, Luwale means studying. You're, you're only studying Pashto. Teresa, na, similar to the English, no. Again, Indo European uh, root stock word. Na, which means no. Z, the Jepohani is the Kawun Kiyam. Z means it's an emphatic me or I. It's a um, strong pronoun. Z, the Jepohani, is the Kawun Kiyam. I am a student of linguistics. Jepohani. Jib in Pashto means language or tongue. Jepo means to understand. Jepohani is the Kawun Kiyam. Is the Kawun Kiyam again means student. Yam, of course, it's am. Asad. The Kum Zaye. The Kum Zaye. Where are you from? Teresa responds, the Michiganium. I am from Michigan. Michigan. 
the state of Michigan in the United States. I said, Delta Cheri Osegi. Here, Delta means here. Cheri means where? Osegi, you live. Where do you live? Delta Cheri Osegi. Teresa responds, Pa Georgetown ki Osegum. Pa Georgetown ki Osegum. I live in Georgetown. Osegum means live. Pa ke go together. These are particles in. Pa ke pa and ke mean in. Pa Georgetown ki Osegum. In Georgetown I live. I it's because of the personal ending M represents uh, the singular personal ending pa georgetown ki osegum pa georgetown ki osegum pa and ka mean in pa georgetown ki osegum new vocabulary that we encountered num similar to the english name again indo-european stock uh, root stock name num name jepohana linguistics or 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 knowledgeable of languages. Shai, thing, zai, place, zda kawunke, student, zda kawunke, work, car. American names, of course, Teresa, uh, Michigan, uh, the state of Michigan, Georgetown, the city of Georgetown um, in D.C. Question words, s, what, kum, which, kum, kum, which, my emphatic strong pronoun zma similar to english my i'm sure there is some linguistic connection between zma and my uh, that is historical z is i emphatic to pronouns adverbs whoa adverbs phrases and idioms whoa yes ba is a particle which we'll discuss in future units raza kena Come sit. Ra means here. Ra is like toward. Za means go towards me. Like come towards me. Ra za. Kena. Kena means sit. Or in the Kandari or Western dialect would be krena. Ra za. Krena. Uh, means come and sit. Ta singa. How about you? How about you? Ta singa. Na is no. Similar to the English no. Na. Again, Indo European origin. Po nashwom, I didn't understand. To make a s statement negative, a n the word no or na is placed uh, preceding the verb. Po nashwom, I did not understand. Personal uh, construct personal uh, answers to the following questions. I will read this out, and the student can answer it. Sekar kawe. Delta Seshai Lwale, the Kumzai Ye, Cheri Osegi. Of course, this in Western dialect would be Cheri Osege, Osege, Cheri Osege. The present imperfective tense of Pashto. These are some examples. Ta Sekar Kawe, what work do you do? Ta se kar kawe. Ta you se what kar work kawe do. Ta se kar kawe. Se shai luale. What thing you studying? What thing studying? What thing stu you are studying? You is of course implied in the ya with the do two dots. Se shai luale. What thing are you studying? You is of course implied here at the with the ya with the two dots up and down in a um, vertical fashion. Yawaze pashto luale or yawaze pashto luale. Cheri osegi. Where are you living? Or you can say in the this gay here in the western dialect becomes re. So cheri osege. Delta osegum or Ose rum, I am living here. Delta means here. Ose rum means me, I live here. Delta means here. Ose gum or ose rum. 
these are some notes I would like the student to review.